Hey guys, I wanted to take just a minute and talk about some of the projects I got planned in this upcoming season in the Toys for Watch shop. Now I started thinking of this in terms of seasons. You guys saw the first season getting my channel going, you know, get, kind of getting my first turbines up and uh, just, just getting started. And all the same kind of stuff that I started, I, I'm, I'm going to keep that same scheme going on into my next season of projects, but I am going in a completely different direction. You know, vertically, I have been asked so many times since posting this video, why was that turbine so awful? How, how do you tell the difference between that terrible turbine and ones that might have some potential? Uh, what, what are some good ones? And there, there's just some general interest in vertical axis turbines. I've gotten enough requests for information on vertical turbines over the last year that I feel like I should spend a little bit of time talking about them. And this is, the, the plan so far is we're gonna make one, which you guys have already seen the start of that with the second washing machine turbine. Uh, we are gonna buy a cheap one. We're gonna do one of these cheap uh, eBay helical or Savinia style turbines, which I have very low expectations of. And we're gonna try one that's not so cheap. Now, this is part of uh, where, I'm, where I'm having some, some trouble. I am looking for a one to two kilowatt turbine, vertical turbine, and it has to have a realistic stator because if it's got one of the, the little bitty tiny staters like what you're seeing on those cheap ones on eBay, it's not gonna make a thousand watts no matter what you do with it. Uh, and it also has to be economical. There's been several models out there that I've been able to find that had potential to peak in between the one and two kilowatt range. But you know, if it costs six, seven thousand dollars to get it here, that's that's not economical. People can't can't afford that, especially considering it's you know it's ten times the price of something along the lines of an I fifteen hundred. So. <laughs> my target price is $2,000 or less, uh, preferably stressing the less, but I, I feel like it's got to be a model that you can get, you know, delivered to you uh, for less than two grand, $2,000 US. Um, I found two models that I think have some promise. One of them is, a, is this Tumo, uh, Darius, if I'm saying that correctly, style turbine, which it's got a big stator on it. The, the whole thing weighs, you know, 200, 250 pounds, something like that. It's a big, heavy turbine. And I think that that's got uh, potential to work in the range that I, I want in that one to two kilowatt area. Uh, the other one is one that I have gotten a lot of request for information on because of its price and that would be the Tessup Atlas 2.0 and this is one that really intrigues me and that's I I, I have uh, I have low expectations but at the same time I'm still very very fascinated with it I I, I have doubts about how the veins are set up about that working at all but Deep inside this machine is a, a, a generator that I would, I would bet money on. I think that there is a huge amount of potential if you just utilize it correctly. So I, I, I honestly expect if I go this route that I'm going to build a new rotor for it after that rotor doesn't, doesn't do what we need it to do. Uh, now, there may be others out there. These are the two that I have found and I, I, I'm still looking. If you guys know of another vertical axis turbine that, uh, that I can have shipped to me in the United States for less than $2,000, it's gotta be between one and two kilowatt hours, not two kilowatt hours, it's gotta be between one and two kilowatts peak production. And uh, you know, send me a link to the product, send, send the manufacturer a link to this video. I'm very interested in talking to them about it. Uh, that, that's really what I've got going on. If you guys have any suggestions for other products that you'd like to see, then definitely hit me up. Let me know what they are. Uh, and, uh, 
I do want to say that uh, I, I, I've had several people ask me about how they can support my channel. Uh, a few mentions of, of making a Patreon account. I, I don't think that I have enough content that I can justify making some of it exclusive to Patreon. So I, I don't think that that's a good fit for my channel right now. It's something I'll revisit later. I. I, I hope that someday my channel will be much bigger than what it is and maybe at that point I'll, I'll be able to set something like that up. But for right now, if you're interested in donating to the channel, helping me out, my PayPal link will be in the description below. You guys can hit that. Uh, if, it's a, if it's 50 cents, a dollar or more, I will dedicate the entire amount to moving this channel forward and getting us on to the next project. So. Any questions, any comments, anything you'd like me to look into, post it below, let me know, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks for watching, guys.